Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Today's razor review, the Rockwell 2C. It comes in a white chrome finish or a gunmetal finish. It comes in this package with an instruction sheet, instructions on both sides, and a five pack of Rockwell blades. The construction of this razor, it's made of premium zinc alloys designed in Canada and made in China. The specs on this razor, it weighs in at 3.5 ounces or 99 grams. And the overall length from top to bottom is 3.8 inches or 97 millimeters. What it says on the instruction sheet, the adjustable system of the Rockwell 2C allows you to adjust the angle at which the blade shaves your facial hair on any given day. This allows you to get a close, comfortable shave no matter what. That's what's on the card. In my humble opinion, not a true adjustable razor. There's no knob at the bottom to spin to adjust. You need to flip the plate. It comes with one plate and it has numbers one and three on that plate, which is their most popular plate size. You flip the plate to make the adjustment. This keeps it stupid simple or KISS, K-I-S-S. -S. In case you didn't know, KISS or K-I-S-S -S is an acronym for keep it simple stupid or keep it stupid simple. It's a design principle noted by the U.S. Navy in 1960. The KISS principle states that most systems work best if they are kept simple rather than made complicated. Therefore, simplicity should be a key goal in design and unnecessary complexity should be avoided. It's a three-piece razor. Let's disassemble it and we'll pop in a blade. It comes with a five pack. Here's the Rockwell blade. Nice thing about it, it comes double wrapped, two layers of paper and no glue. A lot of blades have glue where they stick to the paper. It's kind of tedious trying to remove the glue and the paper and the blade. It's uh, much easier when there's no glue. Let's pop that over the post and the two pins like so. And then as I said, the plate has numbers on it, one and three. So I am going to put the three side out. That will be visible. Here's a look at it with the blade. The blade does protrude a bit on the sides, so you need to be careful of that. You could possibly cut your finger if you spin it around. So use caution there. The number that's visible is the number that you're shaving with. I have three here. Here's some information about the plates. Plate one, designed for sensitive skin, spots prone to nicks and cuts, shaving five o'clock shadow. Start here when coming over from cartridges. Also great for body shaving, sensitive areas, or man grooming. Plate three, average skin, skin that's sometimes irritated by cartridges, shaving short stubble, or shaving every one to three days. Also great for head shaving. I have short stubble and a one to two day beard growth, so I'll start with plate number three, and then after my first pass, I'll switch it over to plate number one. The razor's got a really nice gleaming chrome finish to it. It's got knurling on the handle and a slot here, and then knurling above and below the slot. Makes it a little bit easier to grip. Feels very good in the hand, and it's a nice looking razor. Pretty sharp looking. All right, I'm going to make this a white shave today, meaning I will use Parasso for sensitive skin, and I will use the Simpsons Trafalgar synthetic brush, which has a pretty much a white handle, I'd say. In case you wanted to have a peek, here's the size difference between the Simpsons Trafalgar 2 and 3. You can see quite a noticeable size difference there. And the one would be a bit smaller than the two. We're going to mix up a lather in our White Shave Nation bowl right here. We'll finish it up with the Parasso Sensitive Skin Aftershave Balm. I've got my marble cup with some hot water here. Here's what the brush looks like when it's nice and dry. I'm going to drop it in, saturate those bristles. Here's a look at it when it's saturated. That's what it looks like. I'm going to shake off the bulk of that water. Squirt some Parasso just a little bit to fill up that lather spot down at the bottom. About an almond size. You can see that. And we'll swirl. Take the brush and go right in there and start swirling. Now 
I've noticed with the synthetic brushes, it starts out a little bit more sudsy than the Badger brush, but it does produce a quick lather. Check it out. Look at that. 15 seconds, not even. The bowl is filled. Lots of lather. Coming up around the edges. Look at that. Got a nice hollow spot in there. It's all lather inside. Very nice. All right, plenty of lather for two or three passes. I'm going to warm up my face. We'll get right to the shave. Whew, good and hot. White bowl, white shaving cream, white brush, red face. All right, let's get our lather going. As I said, plenty of lather for several passes here. The tips are very soft on this brush. And as you can see, it mixed up a lather pretty quickly. Figure eight method. Smooth everything out. Let's clear the runways so we can see those sideburns. Let's warm up the razor under the hot water. All right, Rockwell blade is loaded. Razor is ready to go to work. I'll cut the sideburn, tilt slightly up. Perpendicular, tilt slightly up. Again, this is the number three plate. Definitely doing the job. All the way down one side filled with stubble. Let's see if we can make it down the other side without having a man down situation. Very nice, look at that. Stubble filled razor. Let's rinse that off. Mustache area, just scoop right under the nose. This head is a little bit higher and thicker, but gets in there quite well. One pass, feels really good, pretty close. Let's rinse off and lather up for one more. All right, here we go. Tons of lather in this bowl. Very soft on the brush. Not as stiff as a badger brush. And as you can see, it doesn't hold the lather to the brush as well. The lather oftentimes flies off of the brush, so you need to be careful. More of a sudsy lather with the synthetic brush. All right. Let's clear the runways once again. Okay, I almost forgot. We need to switch the plate in between passes. I'm going to flip it over from the three side to the one side. The blade stays in place, which is nice. It'd be much easier to turn a knob, but this works too. So now the one is visible, which is the more sensitive skin uh, blade reveal or aggressive shave. Same angle. Oh yeah, definitely a difference. Much less aggressive, very mild. Good for the finishing pass. Would be very difficult to cut yourself with this, uh, with this number one plate. Let's rinse that. Now against the grain on the neck. Very good. Cross the mustache area. Excellent. Nice and smooth. Let's lather up those cheeks. Let's do a finishing pass. Just a little bit of lather. 
Still tons of lather in the bowl. Actually too much, we're just gonna use a little bit. Lubricate those cheeks one final time. All right, here we go, we're gonna ride the cap. Put the rounded surface on your skin, tilt the handle upward, nothing happens here, but when you go up a little more, she catches, that's your sweet spot. This will get you baby smooth right here. All the way up. You don't want to scrape like this, but find that sweet spot just when it starts to catch. That's where you want to be. Very nice. Baby smooth. Here we go. Same thing on this side. Start rounded, tilt upward. You're kind of just skimming the surface. Baby smooth right there. Very nice. A final rinse with hot then cold water. While the face is still damp, let's take our Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block, remove the cap, soak it under the cold water. We'll raise it up a little bit. Just glide that all around. Get some feedback on your shave. If you got some irritation, you might feel a little bit of stinging, but none here. Very nice smooth shave using the number three and number one plate. Let that soak in for about 30 seconds and rinse that off. Pat the face dry. Now let's crack open our Parasso Sensitive Skin Balm. Couple drops in the fingertips, just like that. Massage that in. Feels very cool. This is a nice protective finish. This contains oatmeal and green tea, which is very calming and soothing to the skin. Excellent finish to your shave right here. You take your towel and fold it in half. Air dry a little bit. The old barber's trick. A final look at the razor. Great for every day or every other day shaving. And as far as KISS goes, the K-I-S-S, in my humble opinion, this razor is simpler in the fact that you only have one plate to switch, but it's more difficult than spinning a knob. You have to stop mid-shave, flip the plate, and then carry on with your shave. It's a little bit tedious, but not that bad. As far as simple, there's only one plate, settings of three and one, and you may find that you just want to shave with the three all the time or the one all the time, depending on your particular beard growth. I like the shave that I got from using the three plate and then switching to the one, the sensitive skin plate. Seemed like it was very nice and smooth, very comfortable, very difficult to nick yourself with that combination. If you prefer a razor that has a knob at the bottom for adjustment, then take a look at the Rockwell Model T, the Merker Progress, the Merker Futur, or the Rex Ambassador. Uh, all those will have a knob where you can just spin and adjust the dial. And I'll put links to all those under the video where it says show more and up in the corner here as well. You can see videos of yours truly shaving with those razors. So you can check those out as well. I didn't mention, but the price on this is about 30 bucks. So it makes it a really nice entry level razor. And as far as what you get, it's hefty. Seems like it will last a long time. The finish looks very durable. It's not stainless steel, but it is the zinc alloys and uh, they made it hefty. It's, it's a good shaving razor, feels great in the hand. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do me a favor, click that subscribe button and then go up there and click the bell, then click all. You'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. They'll go right to your inbox, so you can check those out. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to pick up any of these items, just click under the video where it says show more, or go to shavenation.com, enter in the search box, whatever you need, it'll pop right up. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.